trees are so beautiful at night. Magic trees do harm to us all. Their magic is dangerous. All of them must be cut down. <gasps> the king is not well. I'm Regis, chief wizard of the kingdom. You're a promising wizard, but you have much to learn. That's why I summoned you here, to teach you magic. Your first task is to heal the bird. Magic is controlled by using specific glyphs. I've written one of them down on green parchment somewhere on the balcony. Bring it to me, and I'll show you how to use the glyph of healing. I found it before your arrival. The poor thing was lying on the floor. It hit the glass and broke a wing. Of course, but first you need to master the glyph of healing to heal plants and animals. Our king believes that magic has to serve the people, and I agree with him. The balcony door is locked. I lost the key somewhere in the study. You need to find it. King Altus and the Queen wisely ruled over the prospering kingdom. Some said it was built under a lucky star. Their heir was growing into a kind prince who loved animals and flowers. When the King announced that the Queen was having another baby, everyone was happy. Unfortunately, it was a difficult birth. When all healing potions didn't work, the king called Regis, a skilled wizard, to help the queen and the child. Regis used the most powerful glyphs, but only one could be saved. It was a little prince who lived. Time passed and King Altus accepted his loss. The palace once again enjoyed the bird's songs. He took care of his elder son's education, 
hoping he would follow in his father's footsteps. The king's younger son, Valen, was a sullen boy who didn't show talent in sword fighting or reading books. He liked playing. He imagined him... And here is the glyph of healing. Look and repeat after me. Now, look carefully at the bird and use the Glyph of Healing on it. Excellent! It's healed! Regis the Wizard, you are accused of attempting to murder the King. Arrest him! I'm innocent! There must be a mistake! You must be his new student. I'll have to detain you. What do you want? Prisoners are supposed to be quiet. Everyone who helped Regis will share his fate. If he's executed, you will be too. He was taken to the square. You can see it from your cell window. King Altus will judge him publicly. He's a traitor! He was trying to kill the king using sorcery. Fortunately, King Altus was helped in time. Have a snack. It may be your last meal. <laughs>
Regis, the wizard. You stand accused of treason. I made you the first wizard of the kingdom, but you betrayed me. You are poisoning my drinks. Here's proof. Your Majesty, I have been framed. I would never... You're guilty, and the punishment is death.
your eyes aren't deceiving you. It's me, Regis. I still have friends in the kingdom. They helped me to escape, but my strength is waning. Someone is attacking me with dark magic. The same magic that affected King Altus. I am hiding in a secret refuge in the forest. The Emerald Waterfall will show you the path to me. I beg you, hurry. This will help you to get out of the city. Did you see how the wizard vanished? He disappeared into thin air. No one knows where he is now. The sun was giving way to the moon, day by day, and the sons of Altus grew up as magical trees and were sent to study different sciences. Regis used ancient manuscripts and books to teach the children.
The younger son, Valen, didn't like reading books or analyzing maps. He tried to achieve everything through fraud and craftiness. Valen knew that his father would never name him as heir to the throne. He hated the legitimate crown prince, his older brother. Valen's soul began to overflow with envy and a thirst for power that no jug of water could quench. Valen dreamed of ruling the kingdom under his banners, so he decided to get rid of his elder brother. Burning with anger, the soul of the young man became as dark as storm clouds. He set up an accident in Regis' study, for when all of the students would be there. At exactly five o'clock, an explosion occurred, taking the lives of his elder brother and Regis's other students. Valen only suffered a wound. Regis didn't believe it was an accident. He studied the flasks that remained intact and found out who set up the explosion. In the throne room, illuminated by candles, Regis accused Valen, in public, of killing the students. Altus couldn't bring himself to execute his son, so he banished him from the kingdom. Valen left the castle when the sun rose. After that, Regis refused to teach anyone. He never used his wand again. The guards are after you, wizard. I'll hold them off. I'm Dana, the king's chief advisor. Thank you for healing me. I'm sure that Regis isn't guilty of trying to kill the king. That means you're not guilty either. I don't know, but King Altus got sick from some unknown evil magic. After a stranger who was hiding his face showed up in the castle, the king started acting strangely. He started making rash decisions. Find out who that stranger is, and find your teacher. He'll help you. I'll open the gate. This racer will get you outside the city.
Hello, I am Rowena, mistress of the forest. My magic is weakening because magic trees are being cut down. Only emerald water can help me take a human form. I saved your teacher Regis because he cares about the forest. But he's been poisoned with some unknown magic and is very weak. Regis is calling for you. He's been hiding in the Golden Grove. So, this is Regis's new student. Rowena said where to find Regis. Excellent. Now I can get rid of him and the kingdom will all be mine. You, however, are not worth my time. I will let the waters deal with you. I've come for you, Regis. Now there will only be one wizard in the kingdom, and it will be me. <laughs> Do you think, Rowena, that your magic can stop me? This barrier won't stop me, Regis. I'll come back with even more powerful magic. Then I'll have my vengeance.